Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Executor 3 CE, or Executor 3 chip. I uh, did an Executor 2 in my last video, because uh, that's my other console. But uh, we're taking a look at this one now, and the features of it, a little quick overview. So, uh, first thing I'm going to show off is the 1 megabyte BIOS. Uh, so I have the two dip switches set to on right now. For, actually, no, I think I don't. So if you flick one and two, that's gonna give you the one megabyte BIOS, which is the actual executor three BIOS. So I'll show you that first along with the menu. So a blue means it's enabled. We're not booting into it here. And you can actually configure colors and all that on the fly. So uh, we're just gonna boot into XMBC here. There you go, and then it's just, from there you do whatever you need. Um, you can also do, is uh, boot into the actual um, XQ3 chip menu by holding down the white button on your controller. And this only works if you're actually using the XQ3 BIOS. So, here we are. And from here you have stuff like uh, flashing, uh, you can name certain BIOS banks, can change how uh, BIOS does stuff, enable patches, and from here you can actually change your uh, Xbox boot colors. Uh, they got a couple presets as well, so yeah, I'm not gonna change mine. I did configure mine how I like. Uh, same thing with the uh, flubber colors. You can change that. Also have presets for that. Let's go back here. You can uh, just completely turn off the animation, um, turn off the TM logos, etc. Wireframe. You can also change the LED color, like most uh, most BIOSes. Now, I don't have any skins installed here, but you are able to change the skin of the uh, like the background here. So uh, don't have any for that though. You can uh, set quick launches for uh, when you're holding the trigger down. Uh, reboot with mod disabled, but you know, basic stuff like that. You can also change some of the network settings here. And I think if I'm correct, you can actually FTP into it right now. And then you got info on the actual chip. X3 chip, executor, not executor, uh, Xbox, uh, revision, serial, all that stuff. Info on the hard drive. And from here, I think you can actually, you can also lock the, uh, Drive to your console. I forgot where it's at. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. Current hard drive setup. Yeah, so you can like lock your drive if you want to replace it and then go back to stock BIOS. I'll also, show you too what you can do to get into stock BIOS is that if you hold it along, you'll see it's now red and you'll boot into the uh, normal Xbox BIOS or whatever you have. Uh, you have like a T stop flash, you'll boot into that. So. Yeah, so let me uh, turn that back off. Uh, the next thing I'll show you too, I have another BIOS flashed here. So you can actually turn on the next bank. So I'll do a single one. Because, uh, oh, kind of hard getting these. I also don't want to break them. Because, uh, yeah, that would not be fun. Third one's shit. off all right yeah let me just get this uh third one here dude <laughs> that's the only thing that is a bit annoying about this chip is the uh the damn dip switches are so small there we go all right so now i have the executor 2 bios flashed onto this bank so it'll load the executor 2 bios uh just like my executor 2 chip so and the, uh, one of the final features I'm going to show you of the chip is the, um, actually the recovery BIOS that you can boot into. Even if, I think if you're bricked on the uh, bank, you can still get into it. So I'm going to show you quick. All you have to do is press both buttons at the same time. I take a couple tries. Let's see if we got it here. 
I did not. Let me try that again. So you gotta press both at the same time. I think they're. I think we got it right there. And yeah, from here you can boot. Uh, you can flash from the network. You can uh, load it if you have like a BIOS on your hard drive. You can load from disk. And you can lock and unlock the hard drive. So kind of a cool feature so you can actually recover if you're bricked on one of the banks. And then the uh, there is a fourth bank, but uh, it's not going to work because I have uh, bank 3 is a 512k BIOS. So bank 4 is actually partially used. And then the last uh, bank there is for... Um, just protecting the flash, if I remember. So I think right now it uh, should just boot back into the uh, Executor 3 BIOS. Now I'll just hold the button here. Yeah, so it just boots back into that. Alright, well that has been a look at the Executor 3 chip. Uh, thanks for watching.